welcome to my channel and before we get into it let's get those disclaimers out of the way of course before i get started i do have those disclaimers to get out of the way i live near a major highway here in the country of belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where i live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and thirdly i have dogs i have dogs my neighbors have dogs so if anyone comes in this neighborhood you will hear those dogs including my own start barking and with that i get back to my regular scheduled program okay so today is part two to that derwent light fast color pencil review that i did here they are in all their beautiful glory and um we're just going to be doing the actual drawing piece to this. Um, let me give you a hint of our color swatches that we did. Now these pencils are supposed to be 100% light fast, especially the 36 set that I have here. 100% light fast and they do have beautiful colors. My only concern with it is, and I did practice a few with them, um, my concern with it is it doesn't lend itself to my artistic style. It's kind of funny because I do like looking at a muted color set. Um, it's kind of like one of my favorite colors. or I'm a very earthy kind of person. And so it does present itself to my earthiness. But somehow whenever I color and illustration especially if you're using this illustration here on my left as an example I seem to be more in the brighter side of things whenever I do art so it's I'm struggling with rendering a piece how I normally render, render a piece to the colors I like looking at um, the paper I'm using is actually the this is actually hot press paper. This is from Fabriano Studio. It's a 25% cotton hot press. And this is actually colored pencils. And I'm gonna be using colored pencils on this side. I don't know. I just tried using colored pencil in this piece at one point and I just fell in love with it. And so I was like, okay, this is a good thing to use colored pencils for. So uh, yeah. And I just started to test out the different methods of blending color pencils in here. This one is actually the Milan Big Lead. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? It doesn't even look like Milan Big Lead, but it is, and it's gorgeous. And I did bind burnishing blending method using the white pencil, Yamsol, and blending. Blending is actually using a blender pencil. My blender pencil here, the one I use is from Tartum and it's very economically friendly. It comes in a pack of six, which is enough. And uh, yeah, put a little marker here to show which one I'm using. So yeah, so uh, I've already introduced these pencils to you. So I don't really have to talk about them all, a lot. What I think what I think when I was swatching them out, I've already presented that in the vlog. The only thing is there is a mark in here. I notice it on all Derwin products that I have. This says OR. You see that little indentation right there? It's actually Emboss OR right there. Um, I don't know what that is. Let me see if I remove this, if I can make it brighter. Yeah, right about there. Um, I don't know what this is. Some of them has an OR, some of them have an other letter configurations like NT. I don't know, emboss in it. Is this another OR? No, this is an NO. I'm wondering it has something to do with the manufacturing line of these pencils. And this is how they are um, ID, which manufacturing line they come from by this. But the black, oh yeah, it does have it black has on oh it's either O R or O H that's on the black but yeah so anyway the one thing I found amazing is that these have color name and not color identifying numbers the other Derwin products I have some of them have color identifying numbers like the Derwin light Derwin intense they have color identifiers and the Derwink water, Derwink, sorry, watercolor pencils. They have 
um, number identifiers but these doesn't have number identifiers that's the only thing I found um, perplexing just to kind of talk about them a little bit um, yeah so that's about it they don't have color identifiers those indenting letters that are on the tip of it and yeah anyway let me stop my blabbering and get into the coloring okay so what was my intention in rendering this piece I wanted to use this illustration here to see if these Derwent Lightfast pencils, if I can use it with my art style. Basically that was it, so I thought this little squirrel here chopping some wood would have been a perfect little illustration for me to see if the pencils were able to lend itself to my style. And for, for the most part it did. I did have some trouble with this. Here you see me going in at the tail end first, starting from the tail end first. And um, I'm just using, I think this was between the sienna and the sepia. I was using a red sepia for the tail. I wanted to keep his color very brown, very muted, with just a hint of bright throughout the piece. And I wanted to see if I could able to demonstrate my ability to shade and shadow. And that's why I used, I think it was a chocolate color here to, to do the deep shading with the red sepia for the medium shading and then the sienna for the rest of the turtle because his color is actually more sienna than anything else. And as you can see here now going into the legs, again trying to demonstrate my ability to shade and render this piece doing the legs. I believe you will also see me start using a blender pencil at this point. And it was just to see if the blender pencil that I have would be able to lend itself to the Derwent Light Fast Pencils. It didn't do the job the way I wanted to. And maybe it could just be because of practice. So you'll see me now using the Gamsol Odorless Mineral Spirit. And it was able to do a much better job at blending these colors together. And I just enjoyed using the odorless ministry spirits with this. I even went over the piece where I used the blending pencil and it was able to cover it perfectly. Like I said, I was using the sienna just to kind of bring him out. Now I'm using only the sienna on his head, you know, just trying to make his head stand out from the rest of the body, not to put too much shading and shadowing into the head at all. Um, for the eyes, I think I used midnight and it's just to give the eyes a hint of black not necessarily to make it black again i'm using the blender pencil only for the eyes because it's a small piece so i don't necessarily have to use it on a big piece i think this was where i discovered that i was using the yellow ochre and the champagne color for the lighter colors of this little square and i believe this is where i discovered that the champagne color was leaving this either blue or green residue as you can see me looking at it there i should put a put a picture of it in this piece so i can show you guys what i was looking at here me scratching off to see if maybe it's just a little scratch that was in the lead itself and if i just scratch it off some more i will get that little blue or green rock out and I'll, honestly guys i did not i will put a picture of this in this around here to let you guys see what i'm looking at and here is trying to dig out that little rock that's in the lead I will send this snippet of video off to the Derwin Light to the Derwin company to let them know that this batch I had had in some little rocks that it did now I'm trying to blend out the colors. Actually guys, I was trying to blend out the colors there, see if I could use that odorless mineral spirit to blend out that little scratches of either green or blue that was in the champagne and it really didn't work. Again, I will put a picture to let you guys see what I'm working with. And I'm just now using, I think this was the natural earth I was using for the wood along with that yellow ochre. And again, just trying to blend out it. It's kind of depressing that the champagne had that, those little rocks in it because this was one of the main light colors I was using for his highlighted piece. And now you see me going in here with that color named Mallard, I believe, and the medium, uh, the mid ultramarine color again, just to give him his hints of brightness, not necessarily to make my little squirrel look all muted. Okay, guys, I am finished, it is done. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have enough time to end my discussion piece. Um, 
I'm sure I would have highlighted my undoubted look at that I, it is just crazy that this it's still there you know if you watch I'm trying to see if I could get it in focus where the looks like green or blue flakes that are in this thing it's, it's just crazy you know I can't show you guys it's just crazy it is still there guys it is still there it's like green or blue flakes in the actual champagne color it is still there I'm trying to see if I could get it to focus so you guys can see it if it doesn't want to focus you get a little snippet of it right there you see that little scratch right there yeah that's what I'm talking about it is crazy guys just insane I think it kind of defeated my whole spirits when that when those scratches showed up in the coloring process because I was I was in the zone and when those scratches showed up I just got disappointed and I just tried to like capture back my enjoyment of rendering this piece but I was so disappointed it is like oh my gosh it's just made me feel so bad but I will write the Derwin company and let them know that I got a dud and um, hopefully they might replace it I'm hoping they would like to replace it because it is a dud it is a dud you know it, it changes your rendering experience it does Oh gosh I'm actually trying to see if I could dig it out and the more I dig it's like it's a single streak and it's within the formula of this champagne so you can't dig it out it's not a rock that was fell in there anyway guys thank you so much for joining me on this journey thank you guys for all your support thank you for your comments thank you thank you thank you last check I was above 350 subscribers and there's a 350 degrees but 350 subscribers and I am super happy and amazed of your support I am you guys have just crushed it thank you thank you thank you thank you and as always stay safe stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye